Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you all had a wonderful spring break and welcome back. We're going to start this morning on working on estimating fractions and we're going to then move on to equivalent fractions tomorrow. So when I write notes, I want you all to take those notes inside of your math composition notebook because they're going to help you to work out the problem. So today you're going to be estimating fractions and you're going to be thinking about if those fractions are closer to zero, closer to one half, or closer, excuse me, to one. So if you're thinking about a circle, and let's say on that circle you have this much shaded, If we're following these rules, closer to zero, closer to one half, or closer to one, looking at this circle, which one would you think that would be? Well, yes, if you think about the whole circle, this one would be closer to one half. What if you had another circle and this much was shaded? Is that going to be utilizing the same rules, closer to zero, closer to one half, or closer to one? Yes, the shaded portion is going to be closer to the number zero. And this one we can also think of as one half as the fraction. And we'll make one more circle. And we'll say this much is shaded. Is that going to be closer to zero, closer to one half, or closer to one? And in this instance, it's going to be closer to the whole number one. So you're going to be given today on your worksheet, it's page 97, and you're going to be given some problems that look just like this with items shaded. You're going to decide if it's closer to one half, closer to zero, or closer to one. When you finish with this item, you are just going to keep it because we will be checking it on Friday. So let's see another one. Let's think if you're given a number line. And remember, we did number lines before we left for spring break. But let's think about a number line and let's think about we starting it with zero. Remember, then I said you don't count the zero, but you count every space thereafter. So we're going to want to do one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. We'll do on this number line. So I'm going to shorten mine just a little bit so it looks more proportioned. And if we have six spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means this is going to be six sixths, which is the same as one. Remember that? Okay. And then this will be one sixth. And I like to write them down this way so I can just see them. They have no space. Two six, three six, four six, five six, and then we have six six. Now keep in mind this three six right here. You're at the halfway point. So 3 6 is the same as 1 half. You're going to want to keep that in your mind as you're thinking if items are closer to 0, closer to a half, or closer to 1. So let's plot our coordinates. Let's plot some fractions on this number line. So let's see if we have the number 5 6, 1 6, and 2 6. And we're going to decide if those are closer to 0, closer to one half or closer to one. So let's start with five six. And we're gonna plot it right here. Here's where five six is. Is that closer to zero? It's one, two, three, four, five spaces away from zero. Is it closer to one half? It's one, two spaces away from one half. Or is it closer to one whole? It's one space away from a whole. So that means it's closer to one. We're just gonna write that underneath of it. And I'll put a little arrow. Then 1 sixth is right here on our number line. Is it going to be closer to 0? It's 1 space away. Closer to 1 half, it's 1 2 spaces away. Or closer to a whole, it's 1 2 3 4 5 spaces away. Which means 1 sixth is closer to 0. And then our last one is 2 sixths. 
it is right here. And we have to decide, is it closer to zero? It's one, two spaces away from zero. Is it closer to a half? It's one space away from a half. Or is it closer to one? It's one, two, three, four spaces away, which means that this is closer to one half. So you're gonna have some problems that look like that as well. And then on the very bottom section of your worksheet, page 97, and I wanna put that in front of you so you can see it, it's this worksheet right here, page 97, and it says estimating fractions at the top, and it kinda of gives you a little bit of what we did at the beginning, then a number line question. You're gonna to wanna to plot all of your fractions on the number line to make it easier for you. And then for these, you could choose to make a number line to tell whether it's closer to zero, a half, or one. Some of them will be pretty obvious, some of them maybe not so much. So let's take, for instance, number 11, and we'll work that out on our paper. So number 11, the fraction is 5 6. And we're trying to decide if that's closer to zero, closer to 1 half, or closer to 1. So if I make a number line, zero, remember I count all the other spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, because my denominator is a six, that's six six, just like the one we just did on the other side. And right here is gonna be five six. Is that gonna be closer to zero, closer to my halfway point right here, or closer to one? That's a pretty easy one, closer to one. So some of them you'll be able to do in your head, Others of them, it would be probably um, pertinent for you to create a number line, and then it would help you to see actually visually on the number line whether it's closer to zero, closer to the halfway point, or closer indeed to the whole number one. All right, so remember, keep this. We will check it tomorrow on Friday. And I hope you all had a fabulous spring break. I miss each and every one of you. I hope that we are back together soon very, very soon so that we can see each other and see our friends again and just have some good times together before the end of the school year. God bless.